All right. Ooh, this next one. Mm. You know, we tried to get some, uh, some former and current Razorback coaches to come down for this event. We saw Brett Bielema in the video there. We tried to get Basil's former coaches down here. But when they heard that our next roaster was going to be in attendance, they all backed out because only he could effectively offend every single one of them when they come down for the Little Rock Touchdown Club to the point of no return. His dancer name is Sexy Rexy, but tonight we'll introduce this Southern Fried gentleman properly. Please welcome Rex Nelson, everybody. Good God, it's bad enough we got 13 live people. We had to watch 62 on video. How long is this thing going to go? I'm just glad that our friend Jeff Long went into administration and not comedy, David. I know that. You know, that thing went so long, Chris, that I thought Ron Sherman was going to come on selling siding in a minute. It was going so long. And who is this? Who is that? <laughs> Governor Schwarzenegger? I, you know. I'll be back. I don't know who that is, but it doesn't look like you, Basil. Yeah. Governor, thank you for being with us tonight and adding a little class to this table. We needed that. We are proud to have you as our governor, and we're delighted that you were elected to statewide office on only your 17th try. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, it is really special up here tonight. Think about it. Tonight on this one table, you get to see the handiwork of two of the great artisans in our state. The person who whitens David Basil's teeth and the person who dyes Bill Vickery's hair. All at the same table. And here they are, all together on the same table. David Basil, Tommy Smith, Roger Scott. A walking billboard five mornings a week for attention deficit disorder. It's a daily radio show where three grown men all talk at once, leaving the listener to wonder exactly what is being said. In fact, it's the only show I have ever appeared on where the host asks you a question and then change the subject before you ever have a chance to answer. You know, every morning as thousands of Arkansans drive to work, the show with no name causes them to mutter the same thing in their car. I sure miss Big Dave. <laughs> Speaking of attention deficit disorder, it's a delight to see you here tonight, Matt Jones. A delight. <laughs> and then there's the shooter, Pat Bradley. Where are you performing after the show tonight in that get up? Good gosh. What are you up to anyway, Pat? Are you and Sterner still doing that morning radio show? I lost track. Are you with the Rim Rockers? Uh, can't keep up. Then there's Bill Vickery. I mean, that's a whole roast in itself. Let's just say that Bill has never lacked in self-confidence. He's a self-made man who worships his creator. And speaking, think, just think about it for a minute. You'll, you'll get it. Some of you a little slow, Chris. Drink some more wine. It'll help. Speaking of self-made men, there's the pride of Tamo, Arkansas. Frank Fletcher, one of my favorite multimillionaires. I'm in banking now, Frank. I know how to kiss up to multimillionaires. <laughs> you know, Frank is the ultimate salesman. Many of us will remember that awful morning when Tommy collapsed on the air and you could hear Roger and David exclaim, Oh my God! And Frank just went on selling cars. He never missed a beat. Remember that? Never missed a beat. He had a lot full. Had to clear him. <laughs> oh, here's my old friend Keith Jackson. He deserts us for the University of Oklahoma, and then we make him the Razorback color analyst. Go figure. <laughs> That's a bit like Cam Newton doing color on the Alabama network, isn't it? <laughs> I can say one thing, however, Keith. Sooners and Razorbacks have one thing in common. We both hate Texas, so we got that. I used to have one of those bumper stickers in my room when I was a kid. Remember those? No fruit sucks like the big orange of Texas. And speaking of Razorbacks, there's Big Joe from Slater Mo. I see Joe Klein these days, and I automatically think of barbecue. In fact, I think of my favorite barbecue in Little Rock, Sims. <laughs> 
see Wallace Hall. He gave me my first job out of college, and then he hired me back a second time, so I'm not going to say anything bad about Wally. In fact, I'm going to compliment him because I've seen both these legends here. I will just say this. Wally Hall is to the written word in this state what Randy Rainwater is to the spoken word. <laughs> Steve Solomon. Like Pat Bradley, he hails from the Boston area. Unlike Pat Bradley, he lost that annoying accent, thank goodness. Still, though, it's a bit much to ask Steve to play the redneck good old boy role. Remember that ad he had selling ATVs or, or some kind of redneck toy that he was always running? He'd say, let's go hunting, and they'd make him drop that G. I was expecting him to break back in and say, I traded my car for a four-wheeler. <laughs> Steve, good to have you. And, and Beth Hunt, I'm, I'm not going to say anything bad about Beth because I'm intimidated by good-looking women especially good-looking women from the Grand Prairie, from places like Carlisle. Those women own guns, and they know how to use them over on the Grand Prairie. Like many of us who grew up here in Arkansas, though, guys, I did grow up watching KATV. And two things you can always count on from Channel 7. Good Razorback coverage and leggy female anchors and reporters who most likely will be blinds. Thank you, Pard. I know you're up there watching. Yeah, thank you. Our MC Chris Kane, you know, he's what Basil was about 25 years ago. <laughs> it's hell growing old, isn't it, Dale? David? Got to wear reading glasses now. You're past the age of 50. You know, I would call you a young Basil, but you know what? I can't do that because Chris is actually married. So I just can't do that. So I'll close by saying thank you, David Basil. He came to us from Panama City, Florida, where drinking from a beer bong is considered fine art. <laughs> we came to know him as Razorback number 53, the guy with the big black mustache that made him look like a porn star. <laughs> David Basil and Big John Holmes, steer a twin bill tonight. <laughs> Along the way, though, he became an Arkansas... I, I don't know who John Holmes is. Vickery gave me that. Along the way, though, he became an Arkansas icon. Few people love this state, its people, and its traditions more than David Basil. And let me say this, in fact, about this whole table, because I've gone down the table, kind of set the stage for tonight. So I said a couple from Massachusetts, Big Joe from Slater Mo, you know, other places. They didn't all grow up in Arkansas like some of us. Keith, Bill, some of the rest of us did. But everybody up at this table has something in common tonight. We all love Arkansas, Governor. We're all proud to call this state home. And everybody on this table works overtime to promote Arkansas at a time when so many others prefer to tear her down. I'm proud to call them all my friends. David, have a great night. Thank you. Thanks, man. Good job. Rex Nelson, everybody.